Hello, it is JC with Integrated, and I've been getting a lot of questions on how I created this specific image. So I'm just going to share that with you. Uh, it's free to create an image like this, uh, and I'm gonna show you which tool we use to create this. So I'm gonna head on over to that window. And we are using Canva to create it. So Canva is a free app or a free tool for most. You can pay for it, but if you are a teacher, you get it for free. So you can sign up as a teacher for free and get all the premium stuff with Canva. So that is really awesome. Make sure to take advantage of that with Canva. You can design so many different things in here, uh, but we've been talking a lot about AI. And so how we would design an image like this, I'm gonna scroll down here on the side. Once you're in a design, uh, I just picked a square image, a square uh, canvas. And once you're in there, you're just gonna go to apps here on the side. And what you're looking for is called magic media. Now there's a lot of them. There's a lot of AI tools within Canva. So you can play around and find ones that you like to use. They all work just a little bit differently. But Magic Media is the one that I've really found that I like. Um, and you can just click on it and it will open up. And then it will also put it at the bottom here so you can click on it and find it easy again when you wanna use it again. So the cool thing is, and I've already got one here up and running, is we can just put in a prompt here. And this is what I did for this one. It was something like, um, uh, we can even try it again. Uh, and it's that's the thing about AI, it's going to give you something different every time. So we're not gonna be able to completely replicate this image, but we can try. So a teacher being friends with AI. And the more specific you are, the more detail it's going to add, of course. So I'm gonna say um, being friends with AI. So I'm gonna say generate again. Now it's going to take a few seconds for it to generate. It's going to give us four different options based on the prompt that we gave it. And from there, we can decide if we like those images that it gave us, or we can decide um, if we need to add a little bit more to make it a little bit more specific to what we wanted. Now, we did not select a specific style in this instance, so it didn't give us this specific style that you see here. But what I can do, I can choose one of these if I like one. But what's really cool about this Magic Media is they have all these different styles that you can use. And my favorite has been this dreamy style, and that's what you see here. Um, but there, it's really cool. The minimalist style is good. Uh, the actual, do you want it to look like a photo is good. I will say if we <laughs> generate with the photo one, sometimes the faces for people aren't really spot on. It's trying to take images from one place and match them with another place and the faces kind of get funky. Um, so we can take a peek if one of those turns out like that. Um, I'll just add a page and we'll see what comes up. So when I click on one of these, so let's say um, I want this one. And you'll notice what I'm saying about faces with people. Now these faces aren't really spot on. And so the, the technology with this magic media isn't quite there yet with uh, faces, human faces. Uh, so I like to use it more for like these cartoony type looking uh, images. So let's try Dreamy and let's see if we can get one that was similar uh, to that other one. So Dreamy has been one of my favorite, that minimalist one. Um, there's a couple others, like there's a cartoon one that's kind of neat. And here you see where it shines a little bit more because it doesn't have actual faces. Um, it's not trying to generate humans. So these are kind of cool. You're noticing that I'm not getting the same exact thing, but I get one that say I like this one. This one looks kind of cool. Uh, looks nice, bright, this dreamy look. I love that effect. Uh, and let's say I really liked that one and I wanted a few other uh, variations of it. I can click on these dots and I can say more like this it will give you more options that are similar to this image. Now you also saw that I had the option of doing create a video within that and I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, I will say that the technology is there but it's not quite super precise. Uh, so it gets a little funky and I'll show you what I mean. So this is just a different variation 
of the of this image so different variations of this image and let's say i like this one because she's got the book out and it um is showing you know maybe a brain here uh so maybe i really like that one that's the one i use this picture now is available to me uh inside of my uploads right here you'll see it here the two that i've clicked on they've automatically put it into my uploads and I am ready to use it again in another uh, design. So you can see, I'm gonna scroll through some of these other ones that I put some prompts in. Um, I just wanted like a standout teacher in these. Uh, this one, I was trying to get it to create a logo and some of them it worked on, but others, it seemed like it kind of got a little muddled, like maybe I put too much in there. Uh, and so it didn't complete the image. Uh, it's trying to match up from other images. so. Um, this one was kind of cool, but again, it just kind of didn't have all the completeness. So this AI is not perfect by any means, but it is able to create some pretty cool images. Uh, if we play around with it a little bit more, you can see this is a different type of style that I used just a teacher with a computer, I think was the prompt in a couple different styles here. One thing you will notice too, like this one, for example, it's a neat picture, but for some reason, my computer, <laughs> this lady's computer, is turned on on the back. And so you'll notice that that it doesn't always have that, um, let's say, detail where obviously the computer shouldn't be turned on in the back. Uh, so you'll just have to watch for that within, you know, the variations that it creates. I noticed it a few other ones. This is another variation that was tried. This one is like a futuristic one, but like in the 1950s. So that's kind of a neat one. Um, but again, you see some faces that maybe aren't as clean. You know, some of them are fine, but some of these faces are just not quite as clean. Um, and you really notice it. Uh, let's see here on one. Here's another one that has, you know, a screen on the back of the computer. It just doesn't really quite make sense. Um, but that's, that's what we're going to get with AI. This is one that's an actual realistic picture and the faces don't look too bad. Um, so that one could work. And then you've got these ones with the dreamy. I think that dreamy just works really well. This is a really engaging, bright picture, you know, maybe with the eyes, we don't like the eyes. So we try this other, well, it's the same variation. It might've been this one that I traded out for another variation. Um, so again, you are going to, I'll show you what the video looks like, magic media. And then let's say we wanted to turn this one, or actually we liked this one. Let's generate a video off of this. So this is really cool. It's going to actually animate that picture. Like I said, it's not perfect yet, but it looks pretty sweet when we look at it. Um, so we're going to take a peek at that once it's done here. It says, grab your popcorn and... We've got, uh, while well, that's generating, we have an event coming up. So uh, we have the teacher time mastery event. So I will drop a link in the chat for that because we're going to have awesome, awesome content coming up that is going to help you become more efficient with your time and make sure that you get everything done. So I'm going to drop a link for that as we wait for that video to come up. And I'm just getting it in all the places. And we'll see if our video is done yet. It's still processing, that's okay. We're gonna come back to it and see if we can get it done. So this was generate a video. First, it created a picture from our prompt and then it is generating a video right now of that same picture, making it come to life. So I think about the educational um, you know, where would this fit in education? So I think it'd be cool if students are creating, let's say they're writing their own story and they need graphics for it, right? They could use AI to generate those graphics. And we're going to take a peek at this video. Let's see if I can get it to come in here. And you can watch what AI generated for us based on that picture. And let's see if we uh, like it or if it's kind of a little bit crazy. So I see the eyes are kind of wild. It's maybe a little bit too much movement there. This girl in the back looks fine. He looks like he's fine, but there's something funky with those eyes. 
So yes, it has that option to generate a video. Uh, I haven't found one where I'm like, whoa, that that really worked. Um, it seems like we just, the AI in this magic media just doesn't have people's eyes right yet. Uh, but that's okay, it'll come along. Uh, so if we wanted to uh, generate something different, we could say a classroom full of uh, students learning about, uh, let's say, learning about the, let's say, learning science. Let's just go with all students are engaged and paying attention. <laughs> let's see what we get off of this. And then, um, oh, I want to jump back to, oh, now I lost all my text. I was on videos here, so I want to jump back to images. Um, a classroom full of students that are engaged and paying attention to a science lesson. Okay, I'm gonna say generate again, and then we can look at those other variations that it creates. So again, we could have students writing stories and then they're creating uh, pictures for them. Uh, that would be really fun. This is just a great intro for students to be able to see AI and kind of how it works. So this one's kind of cool. They've got uh, the teacher at the front, they've transformed this classroom. And I think what we'll do here is we'll just put this prompt here. I'm going to go change the style so you can see what a different style would feel like. Uh, let's do, I like the minimalist one. That one normally turns out. And then there's a couple others that uh, normally turn out. Well, let's see if I can get this out of fourth. Notice my guidelines were popping up. That's helping me create... Okay, so this one went to an actual picture style, but it's a little bit, it's not as bright. It's that minimalist look, um, but that could be used um, presentation. And let's do retro wave for fun. That was that 1950s one that we saw earlier. That was kind of cool. And then we can pick one more, but I'd encourage you to go into Canva, try these out for yourself, uh, see what what it comes up with. This is like the futuristic back in the day, what it would have looked like type. Let's see this. So these students are older. That's okay. Notice it changed the background and you can even tell the AI prompt, make this a futuristic scene from the year, you know, 2150, um, something like that. And it will generate that or make it, um, you know, from 1950. So you put what you want in that prompt and it will generate. From there, you can change the uh, prompt and make it more what you want. But just be aware that if you change that prompt, it's not going to play off of the last one necessarily, like grab the same people. Um, so that's where you're, you're probably going to lose those people. Uh, it's hard to keep that continuity from picture to picture with these prompts right now. I'm, I'm imagining that sooner or later that will become a feature. And this one did okay with the faces. Not the best. Um, but yeah, so there's some other uh, playfuls, cool, the 3D, oh, that conceptual art. That one was cool with, uh, you saw that one in my examples of that teacher sitting at her desk. That was one of those. So you can see with one prompt, we can get many different options, many different styles, and you can use these images how you want. Yeah, here's a really playful one. This one's really cool. So this one's kind of neat. And that one did an okay job with faces. This one here, yeah, some of them. It's probably too many children, <laughs> too many children in that classroom to get all the faces correct. Maybe this one is better with them, oh, more of them turned. Not really. So the biggest drawback that I've seen with the AI creation with Magic Media is faces. And so if you can avoid prompts that don't have faces, um, you know, and maybe we could even tell them that um, a classroom full of students that are engaged and paying attention to a science lesson do not... Oh, maybe we say only show the back 
of their heads. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work or not, but we're going to give it a try. So we can try to refine it if we want to. Now, a classroom full of students, I've asked it for people. So that's kind of on me that I'm asking for a bunch of faces. It will do better with one specific face versus multiples. Uh, and it didn't quite understand my prompt. prompt so you've still got some faces. But anyway, um, let me know if you have any questions on creating uh, these AI generated um images. And then I just want to point out to you do get, I think it's 500 credits each month uh, with your Canva subscription. So I have used 60 credits so far, not just in the session, but me playing around with it. Uh, but it looks like it refreshes every month. And so 500 different images for the month is actually a lot of images for us to take advantage of uh, that we can use for AI. So certainly, uh, this is, of course, evolving and it will get better and better. That is the hope. Uh, if you're looking for more efficiency, then I'd love to invite you to the Teacher Time Mastery uh, starting next week. So next week, Sunday, November 5th, we're going to unlock 10 hours per week in just three days of the event. The aim is to gain your personal time back and achieving the goal of becoming the standout teacher. So a lot of you know me for free tech tools, right? And it's just, it's more than tech tools, right? We can take those tech tools and implement them, uh, but we want to be able to leave at the end of the day too, but we also still wanna be this standout teacher. So we're not losing quality um, just by you know adding more quantity tools, right? So we wanna make sure that we're still being that standout teacher. So we've combined efficiency with excellent standout teaching and put them together in an event. And we're so excited for that to launch. So the link is in the description. If you want to join us, we're going to talk about the number one hidden time waster in the day, how to turn technology into your virtual assistant with one simple tool. And you may or may not be already using it, but you already know about it. Um, it's just a matter of leveraging it. We're going to talk about the five steps to save you those 10 hours in a week and then this standout teacher to get your mind ready from average to aspirational in just 30 minutes. You can check out here. We've got the agenda. You can pop it in and out if you want to learn more about what's happening on that specific day. This event will have a workbook that goes along with it. The event is, of course, free uh, and we will have replays. So if you can't make it, on time to this event when we go live at 7 p.m. Central on November 5th through the 7th, you can certainly catch the replay uh, and catch up with us then. So I'd love to see you all there because teacher efficiency is so important to be able to get you back to your families, back to the things that you want to do uh, after school is over. We certainly right, are doing an excellent job in the classroom. We know it. Um, but we don't want to live at the school. <laughs> and so we've taken uh, the time to put this event together to show you how we can have a fulfilling career and have a fulfilling life and make sure that we are fulfilled on both ends and life is good. Uh, and we'd just love for you to join us. So do check out that link uh, and get signed up. And then we will get you your workbook when it's available. Uh, it's still getting some tweaks on it, and then we will release that to everyone that is already registered. So we have a lot of people already registered. Um, I'm excited for that live event. Again, if you cannot make it live, that's no problem. Uh, you'll just jump in on the replays uh, and you can certainly ask me questions then. So it was fun to create with you today. I hope that you were able to go in and see uh, Canva and you're able to try it out for yourself and go see what it would work uh, how it would work in your classroom and how you could use it in your classroom. So canva.com, check it out. And then of course, go to this website, the teacher time mastery and get registered for our next upcoming event. So I can't wait to see you there. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And we will talk again really soon.